Danny, this is pretty impressive here. You've got a lot of Haas machines. How many have you got at Miltech? We've got 22 in total, 20 vertical machines, two horizontal. And when did the investment with Haas start here? About 12 years ago, we started purchasing Haas machines, I think. And they must be doing something right, or a lot of things maybe. What, what is that? Well, they're very user friendly. And the main thing for us is we can purchase a machine within a week, have it in here, cut a metal, which is... And that's as a result of them carrying a lot of stock, I suppose. Yes, yeah, stock, and they support us, and it's obviously we're a large customer to them, so... And you've got a big variance in the type of machine from Haas here, everything from mini mills right the way up to the, the VF9 behind us. Yeah, yeah, we have various machines, mini mills starting, v, VF2, 3, 4, 5, and 9. And what do you actually machine on the machines then? Various components, so small aluminium automotive parts up to large manifolds for the oil industry. And when it comes to the programming, are you doing that at the machines or are you doing it offline? I mean, it's 95% now is on a CAD CAM system. We feed it through to the Haas machines via the post processor. So it makes it a lot easier for the, for the operators to... And you've got, I mean, you've got a lot of guys here as well. How many, how many of these are actually on the Haas machines operating them? We have 41 people in total. I think it's about, about 20 people on the Haas machines using them. Because you've got some business here. I remember coming here back in about 2006, and I think then, you know, there's probably a dozen guys at the most. Yeah, I think it was about six, seven guys working on the machines. We now about 30 strong on the machine shop itself. And that's a lot of growth. What, what's that as a result of? We're satisfying the customers' demands. And, and, and on the customers then, let, let's look at some of the parts. Let's go over to this, because this, this really does highlight for me what you can achieve using your uh, Haas machining centres. What actually is this and what material is it, Dan? This is an uh, Inconel 625. Um, we make this out of a solid billet, so there's obviously a large amount of material removal on this. There's a, there's a lot of milling to be done on that. You do that on a fourth axis? Yeah, on a fourth axis we can cover, we do about six faces it, it equates to. So this is this is from one extreme to another. I mean, this is a hard material that you're yeah, obviously. It's mean, but it's. I mean, the has to handle it fine. With the support of a tailstock and a fourth axis, we can machine this component in about an hour and a half. What complete from a billet? From a bit, not from a billet. It's turned first to remove maximum amount of material. But the, the milling operations here with all the features can be achieved in an hour and a half. Because you've got milling, drilling, tapping, yeah. everything. Yeah, well, with it being in canals, a lot of thread milling and holding sizes can be tricky. But with, uh, with lifing the tools on the half, you can uh, hold a consistent uh, size. And I mean, is tooling a big factor for you as well? Is, is the two together, the machine and tooling? Yeah, I mean, what we tend to do on a half, so with big components like this, we tend to life tools. So we'll set a life of maybe 30 minutes on a, on a tipped cutter. It can then pick up the next one, and then we can ca guarantee more lights out running then. And when you say lights out running, are, are you doing that on these machines, are, on the yeah. Haas machines? Are you running 24-hour shifts? I mean, we work, we work two eight-hour shifts, so 60-hour days. But what we try and achieve is as much machine and when the guys aren't here as well. So with long run times like this, they can get them going at the end of the shift, and it can still be run until sort of two or three hours beyond when they've left. Because you, you guys, I know a, a big statement that you've mentioned to me is about dead time. It, a big thing for you is getting rid of that dead time. Yeah, I mean, of course, it's the same for anyone. I mean, reducing your dead time is increasing your profits. So. And I said to you earlier about the reasons for your successes, but would you put that down to being one of them, the fact that you can production engineer parts and reduce that dead time? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why we, we invested in CAD CAM system. Trying to reduce the dead time is less machine in, uh, less programming time on the machines so the operators can be cutting metal more often. And the fact that you're here in Norwich and the fact that you've got Haas machines, are, th are, those, are those two, or is that a factor? I mean, yeah, they're closely linked. Like I say, we can turn around a machine so quick, have it cut in metal, which is a massive gain for us. So if you wanted a machine, you can buy one, have it here, hit the deck and be cutting metal within hours. Yeah, I mean, that's down to the support of Haas, obviously, but yeah, we can have it machine with the post processor already installed on the on edge cam. We can, uh, have it cut metal as quick as possible. Dan, this is the interesting, because this is the VF4 SS machine. What, what does the SS give you, or what does it mean? The SS is a uh, super speed. It gives us a far, faster, rapid movements and tool change. And in real time, what does that, does that mean you can get parts off the machine quicker? Yeah, I mean, we reduce component run time by, by minutes at times. It's, it's twice as fast as a standard machine. And that is the reality. So the SS basically means the machine's twice as fast. So would this be ideal for your more production run? Yeah, we, we run larger batch components on here where we can get larger run times and you, you see the biggest benefit from it. 
And how many of these SS machines have you got? We have three SS machines, two of them are about three years old, so they're our latest purchase. Brilliant. Well, thanks for your time today, Dan. It's been a real education. No worries, thanks.